all right guys you're welcome to another interesting problem on the channel today we'll be learning how to solve problem on circle geometry very interesting topic in math um, so let us get started with the solution all right yeah so we want to find um, angle qpx but we are already given that angle roxp is 74 so let us add to this one so roxp will be like you move from this point r to the x then to the p and this place actually is 74 degrees right so i have to put that very clear 74 degrees right so that's clear and um, if here is 74 degrees definitely i should know what is this angle because this is a cyclic quadrilateral you can see the vertices of that uh, four figure four um four dimensional shape in the circle is touching the circle at four points on the circumference. So that is a cyclic quadrilateral. And you know, in cyclic quadrilateral, um, the opposite angle sum up to 180 degrees. So it means that this angle here, we can call this angle, angle PQR. I mean, this angle right here is angle PQR. So that means angle PQR plus angle rxp is equal to 180 degrees so qpr is what we are looking for we don't know uh pqr i mean and we know what is rxp that's 74 and that is equal to 180 so angle pqr is just taking um 74 from 180 and that will be um that is six that will be 106 right so that means this angle here is just 106. Yeah, so at least we've got something. All right, so let me also tell you this. When you're giving angle in this form, you always wonder why am I putting 74 on X? So whenever you're giving angle in this form, this guy in the center is the one that this angle is associated to. So the arrow and the P tells you the direction how you're moving, okay? So that is what it is. So, and sometimes you see it like this. Um, angle X is equal to 74 degrees. These are different ways you can write angles, right? So now we know what we are looking, we, we've got this point and we want to find angle QPX, right? So angle QPX, if you follow the instruction, angle QPX should be Q, then to the P, then to the X. So we are looking for this angle right here and that is angle QPX, right? And that's fine. So um, now what next to do, permit me to draw a line from vertex p down to vertex r so that i divide these two um, this shape into triangles this four figure shape i want to divide into a triangle and remember this side here and this side is the same so this triangle here is an isosceles triangle right so that will be very easy to obtain so let me bring out that isosceles triangle there so that we can quickly resolve that one very very fast and move on so of course we know this is just 106 and we don't know this angle here and we also don't know this angle here but we know that they are isosceles triangle you know one thing about isosceles triangle your base angle are always equal so if here is x degrees here also needs to be x degrees and remember the sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees right so that means x degrees plus x degrees plus the 106 degrees um, should give me 180 degrees that's the sum of angles in a triangle and x plus x is 2x equal to 180 uh, minus 106 right and that is 2x is equal to um, this is 74 isn't it and divide everybody by 2 so finally x is just equal to 37 right yeah 37 so that means this angle here is 37 and this angle here is 37. So I'll just come right here and plug in the 37. So we are halfway getting the answer. If I can find the many angles, if I can find what this angle is all about, then of course I can tell what the answer is because we are looking for the whole of this angle here. Now we've gotten a part of it, which is 37. So we need to get this part. Once we get this part, we can sum up the whole angle. And of course we've gotten QPX. That is right easy. Now, looking at this other triangle, you see, um, looking at this other triangle, you see here, this triangle, remember this is a diameter, 
And this point where it meets with the circumference, looking about this triangle, they form a 90 degree here. There's a 90 degree form here from the principles of um, cycle theorem. This diameter, the angle it suspend at this circumference is 90 degrees. So here is 90 degrees, so I can get this small angle I'm looking for. And let's call that angle um, Y. So it means that Y plus 90 plus 74 must give me y to degrees because that's the sum of angles in a triangle also. So um, 90 plus 74, that will give me y plus 1. Um, that's 100, 164, right? Equal to 180. And from here, we see y is equal to 180 minus 164. <clears throat> so why it's just, um, why is just 16, right? Why is just 16? 16 degrees. That is what y is. But that is not all. We just know this other side now is 16 degrees, right? But is that the final result? Of course, no. You know, we want to find angle QPX. So we want to find the whole of this angle here, the whole of this angle. That's what we are looking for. So what do you think we are going to do? We are going to sum the 37 and 16. So finally, angle QPX is just um, 16 plus... 37 and that will eventually give us uh sometimes uh six yeah it's three yeah it's three and um, yeah it's five that is angle 53 right so that is very easy so the answer to this problem is 53 degrees thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next class bye bye